we are coming into what should be the last 10-15 minutes of the global stress test for WoW Classic. Um, I level capped at 15, uh, which of course is not terribly hard. Um, total time played on this character in just three days is one day, two hours, so about 26 and a half hours. That's, uh, that's insane. Um, Jones in for some classic WoW, I guess. Um, I got uh, me and Yarn, Yarn and Yarn. Uh, got his all of his skills completely filled out. I uh, got Bite from a Wolf and got Cower from. How are you? Safe travels. This guy. He's not actually Rake. That would be awesome if it was the Rake. But uh, I did not. Uh, I died enough getting the Barons to tame a Sigma Patriarch. I did not really want to go all the way to Mulgore and just get wrecked. Um, yeah, so uh, very cool. Got a, got a 15 cat. Got uh, fully greened out, except for the bracers. There just weren't any greens to, to be found. Trenton got me a pretty cool bow extra damage. Uh, I got a nice offhand uh, going all the way out to Darkshore. Um, yeah, got leather working up uh, quite a ways on all the way, almost to almost 100 right into the medium leather category. Started getting medium leather skinning. Uh, didn't really push uh, the secondary skills this time. I learned every weapon skill that is possible. Uh, I guess pole arms the only thing I don't have, uh, which would be a level 20. Um, and yeah, uh, as far as mods, I have one bag, uh, which unifies all of your bags into a single bag, which is great. Uh, I got Mapster, which completely opens up the map. Uh, no fog of war. Uh, you can see everything in every zone, which is great. Questy puts uh, quest markers all over the map uh, for every quest. Uh, and as you can see, I did most of the ones in Dunro, but I did all of the quests in Elwyn. Elwyn? Yeah. Right, Elwyn Forest. Um, I have Monkey Quest installed. Uh, very handy. Lets you uh, just mouse over the quest, shows you the level, shows you the difficulty uh, by color. So obviously 2018, much harder, 16, kind of on par. If it's below your level, it'll be green. Um, and it shows you uh, then whether it's been done or not, you know. Uh, as you do more of these, they'll turn uh, orange, then yellow, then green, which is pretty awesome. Um, you can click on any quest, uh, and it will... Oh, sorry. It helps if you actually close this. It'll tell you the rewards. Fantastic. As you can see, I have Monkai Compare installed, so you can see if your reward is better than what you're currently wearing. Um, uh, I finally got Tom Tom working. So let's say I had a quest uh, over here uh, to go get, go kill Hogger. Control right click on the screen. It's a waypoint which you can remove. Uh, and there's your Tom Tom arrow. And you see how far it is. And ETA, the one you can constant speed. You see ETA to your destination. It will automatically create a waypoint when you die uh, to your corpse, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, right now, it is aut not automatically tied to Questy or Monkey Quest to create uh, waypoints requests, but you can very easily find the quest you want to go to and make a waypoint to it. There you go. Uh, I think that pretty much covers all the mods, all the major mods. Ah, I got Auctionator. Um, without running all the way back to Stormwind, it's basically like a light version of Auctioneer, which is not functional yet. Uh, Fishing Buddy is not functional yet, but it is coming. Um, and I think that covers just about everything. Uh, I got mixed scrolling battle text um, to replace the normal. Easy Junk auto sells stuff. Uh, vendor price puts the price for everything uh, in the description. Vendor. And you'll see auction price here as well. Um, uh, although it's unknown for these items because they're not items people would sell. Uh, but uh, you can scan the auction house with Auctionator, which is fantastic. Uh, I made quite a lot of money. Uh, I got up to like six gold, I think. Uh, quick example of scrolling battle text. It replaces the standard scrolling battle text with uh, the stuff along the side. And 
Uh, right side is, of course, no damage. And, uh, left side is their damage. wraps it up, uh, I'm going to move this, uh, because I'm going to go here, oops, so right click, we're going to go uh, to the gates of Stormwind, there's six minutes left before server closes, and uh, the first time, the first stress test, as I understand it, they spawned a bunch of crazy bosses out here at Goldshire, which see, but I didn't get into that one. Uh, the end of the second test, they spawned a ton of Anixian well planes in Stormwind. Um, I don't know if they're going to do anything like that this time, uh, but there is a huge group gathered uh, at the gates of Stormwind. Um, assuming I'm in the same layer. Uh, it's, it's possible I'm no longer in that layer, but uh, they were there a minute ago. So Let's go take a look. Uh, Coordinates adds coordinates to the map. Um, yeah, cool. uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, there's your coords. And as you see, I can move around the map. It tells me cursor coordinates up there. Uh, player coordinates. Uh, actually, I guess it's added twice because of uh, map stress. So I probably can remove that one out. Oh yeah, they're still here. Great. That's crazy. That's nuts. Oh, I got a nice little owl pet. Uh, I, oh yeah, I formed the guild. Uh, we got me in Trent then. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, nice. I got rep with Ratchet by running out to Baron, so that was, that was neat. Um, and I almost got myself up to Honored with Stormwind. Huh? Did quite a lot of quests out in Westfall. Uh, yeah, wrapped up almost, actually, most of the quests in Westfall. There's a few left for Deadmines. Uh, started doing quests in Red Ridge, but some of that stuff uh, peaks up into the 20s like this one. All the mobs around this are 20, so I didn't get that far. Um, I have a macro that will completely disable chat, which is fantastic. Gone. Um... This is the maximum zoom distance that you can get uh, with the game settings. However, I also have a macro Put it right here called Cam. When you click it, zoom out, good 25% more. So you can get really, really far out. Turn myself around here and take myself as a little screenshot. Uh, hi, chat front screen. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know what the... Is it Alt-Z? Yeah, Alt-Z uh, closes the interface. Print screen. Let's turn off player names. Names, players are off. There we go. Who is that? Why is someone yellow? Oh, he's, it's a dead horde. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, uh, respect for that. He got he got to the gates. He had to get past those guards. I don't know how. Um, uh, that means I need to turn off names of enemy players and minions. Okay. Now I can do a huge... Screenshot picture. That's great. That's great. Trying to get one without people hopping. There we go. That's funny. Oh, and uh, with no interface. Oh my goodness, people stop jumping. 
<laughs> Maybe one of those will come out well. I'm going to zoom in a lot. So like here. I'm going to zoom in to here. Nice. Nice. All right. Turn chat back on, see if anything crazy is happening. Shut down in a minute 15. Uh, oh, people are spamming junk. Good grief. Yeah, I don't even know that I could run into uh, the main area in a minute 15. Uh, it seems unlikely. Uh, what you, the auction house area. There's my bow. Here's my bow, Blue. That was dumb. Yeah. This dude shreds, man. But the, the, the bear pet just that I had, yarn, just absolutely tanked. Like, he saved me from some time. He tanked Hogger, no problems. That was nuts. <laughs> All right, here comes shutdown. 15 seconds. Oh, that's it. All right. Well, that was fun. Uh, hope to see you guys soon. Two weeks. And name reservation this afternoon. Don't forget. No. Oh.